I just remember that um, I was I was concerned for my safety at all times. One of the advantages of being an artilleryman, we when we set up our observation post, we could set it up in a place where we thought we were secure from enemy observation. Um, of course, there were other times when that was not available, and um, I got a bronze star on that case. Um, Can you talk a little bit about that incident? Yes, um, we were. Uh, my company was uh, was. Uh, had a, had a, a, a village as their uh, uh, as their objective. There was no uh, there was no place where we could set up um, you know, where we could not be seen. But we still were in a bit of a draw, and I could not get radio communications from that position back to the fire direction center. <clears throat> and, the, and the company commander wanted fire on a certain uh, point in that in that town. The only way I could get radio communication was to move up the side of that hill, and I kept inching up that hill with the radio until I was able to get um, uh, contact with the fire direction center. That exposed me completely. I was I was out in the open. Fortunately, nothing happened, but. Um, Battery commander considered that it was sufficient to uh, write me up for for a medal, and I got the bronze star with the V device for it. One of the one of the um, one of the things that has to that has to be in the mind of the people who are in those positions is that there is a job that has to be done. And it can't be done any other way. It just has to. It just has to take. You just have to take your uh, your fears, your uh, uh, your anxiety, and use it as an adrenaline device. Mm. And, it, and it and it works that way. I recall one time when I was on the ASTP. Three of us had gone to Detroit, and we were on our way back. They were infantrymen, and I was Air Corps. And uh, they were talking about what life was going to be like if they were in combat. And I commented that I was glad I was in the Air Corps because I wasn't going to be in combat. I wasn't going to be uh, a rifleman. But if I were, and we were walking down the sidewalk, if we were, I would be hiding behind that tree um, because I'm a coward. And they said a live coward is better than a dead hero. Um, not necessarily, but it, there's there's a point there. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people who were cowards, ended up with a medal of honor because they found themselves in a position where their cowardice had to be ignored. Um, and uh, they performed marvelously as a result. So yes, we were afraid. But uh, we had a job to do and we did it.